This is about the same time when my body was laid in the tomb. Inside of the tomb, my clothing was wrapped around me, a symbol of me to be Christ in this end, the linen. Symbol of what I am wearing on my thumbnail, a fine linen with a golden, as a golden woman in a white linen, a purity from being purged, or F-O-R-G-E, as through golden hearts, 7777. Seven, seven, seven. Whole from 777. Seven. Jesus buried in Joseph Thumb, Matthew 27, 57 to 61. Now when evening had come, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, which is the body of the Christ. He was to the soul's bandages, the first bandage in those times. He is Pleiadian and become Usirian so that when he come reach down to the earth for him to lead me into the tomb, he had hone, H-E-W-N, you know. He who himself had also become a disciple of mine. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body. Ab, whom thy called Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to give in to him. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth. You call it linen, you call it linen. A symbol of a star, shooting star, linen. You see the stars above? It's all connected to one another and every star has, has its theme symbols like the stars of Orion. When you see the stars of Orion, it means you are one of worshipper Ab. In the beginning, the worshipper Ab thought and laid it in his tomb, which he had honed out of the rock. And he ruled a large stone against the door of the tomb, and departed. And then, whom you called Magdalene, which is her name in it, was Mary Magdalene. And my name in it is Mary, which to reverse the army. Magdalene, which is her name in this very end, after she incarnate many years ago, she was called Doren. D, her name just then changed, which is the E is put together D O R E E N or D O R, you know, D O R, Dori. You know, Dori because she was the first Mary. You know, she was the first Mary, humans. Meaning to say for me to pull her child in this end. Her child and her son from Thomas the Apostle. As I was the woman inside of whom they called G-S-U-S. You know, it was Raphael that I've kissed when I see her. As your body is your t-shirt. Mary was sitting, or Magdalene, because I am the Mary. You know, I am the Mary. As I said, your names are all connected to mine. You know, Mary sitting opposite the tomb. Get it, you must? Arimathea, in that name, Arimathea, my name also in that is. Hatea, Thea, A, R. Ari means Owner. Ari, Matea, means owner. Matea means inside of Arimathea. S. Um, uh, a woman. 
Because the name Arimathea is the name of you called Joseph. Because Joseph was name of my patron, patroness, father of the earthly. You know? Arimathea means the man who, who gave me the who asked for the body of the of mine to be laid properly and it was about the same time when he finishes wrapping up my body and delayed me inside of the tomb about the same time as this friday 7 5:55 you know 5:55 of course, um, uh, yearly is changes. It's not always back to seven, but today it feel as seven, meaning it is the last days. It's Friday seven, you months. Friday seven means kupesh. Kupesh means an angel of death that turns to light. You know, that is him. The Kamuel. Kamuel, whom you called also GSUS, the also what you called pilot, the also what you called Dali. You know, Dali. Because every name has its meaning. Only I knew as Tetragrammaton my words. You know? So, uh, Arimathea is also main of the city, which is also name of the place, Arimathea, which is mat, matted. Meaning to say, humans, the place where I was was matted by Joseph. He placed me through the matted linen and dropped me with the linen, matted linen, clothed me with the linen, and... On the top of my head, he placed the, um, uh, the neckerchief. You know, the neckerchief. He placed the, the, the neckerchief or uh, that uh, clean cloth in my head, on, uh, on my head, you know, like a mat. To make it like a pillow on my head. And that's what I, uh, I've, uh, what you call that? That's what Kamuel, who was also Kamuel, me, Raphael, spiritually, you know, Kamuel, me, had the wrapped so that I, ca I could pull more in this. And throughout, since the time of JSUS, I have pulled more done. You know, more done. And this is the same people today that I have met. And they are the people that are still living in my island where I came from and where my father is will be waiting for me. You know? And uh, I, I, it's like this today because it's Friday 7. We have uh, like, um, uh, we have a job to do like I wearing in, in lane in clothing in all white. I didn't wear uh, except my hood or my cape. There's only a gold, which is only on my cape, I had a gold line. And then uh, my undergarments or my clothing, only all pure white. Why only pure white? And I didn't use a um, massage of a golden color. It's because it is the time of his, uh, you know, it is the time of his. Uh, it was also the time of my incarnations. You know, and today I've been around. I it was really, really hot, and uh, I walk on my feet. And then while I was walking on my feet, I don't really want to tell you this, but I want you to commemorate or uh, to uh, to imitate the body of Christ. You know, the body of Christ, which is inside you, is a symbol of the H E W N in you out of the rock from me. Because the time when the rock was opened, it was my smell that comes out from it. And it was also the symbol of the bread of life that came out to the world to clean and replenish the earth for this very end to become humans. So that we can multiply. Meaning to say when the tomb was opened and I've touched the tomb because... 
when the body was crucified, when my body was crucified, I've come out from it, was to replenish it because I furnished it, which I said to you in the record. And after furnishing it, I've come out from it when it was time for, you know, after we have, uh, after we were taken, you know, literally like this, we were hanged on the cross and then we were taken from it, our body, and then it was laid and then my body comes out from it because I was a spirit. I can get up. I can get up after that. Seems like nothing happened. It was just for me to have the mark of whom you call JS, US of this end. And so Michael, Gabriel, etc., etc. And those who are with me in the cross. So that you can have the scars of life and mark of life. Which is you call throughout incarnations the birth mark. And that is also a symbol of the moles in your body as the stars of how many you have. It's on your body, you know, it's on your body, depending on what you are, because every mole has its symbols, and every, and every, uh, like how big it is, there is uh, written in it. You know, only I know if who you are, what you've been through, what life you have, which is in the judgment, it will be all seen by me, you know. And those times when I've opened the tomb, when I said that uh, Elohim, get up. Get up. Get up, Elohim. And then with that, he comes to me and then he hugged me and said, At, I want you. So uh, since then, because it was 3 a.m. when he woke up, 3 a.m. when he woke up and then um, literally the, the earth was still clean by then because it wasn't as bad as now. You know, it wasn't as bad as now. And like now, it's very, very bad wherever you go. People are so blasphemous. When you walk around, like now, I've been around with my uh, white linen, clean linen clothing. I was doing my, uh, my imitations. You know, like uh, when you say imitations, she was like, I imitate the body of Christ as Holy Spirit incarnate. You know, what I did on those times and what I'm doing now is to put shield on into the places where I am and my spirits and the Holy Spirits of God who receive the body, the apostles, you know. It's like my connection to each and every one, you know. So I imitate this so that I could connect to each and every one with a sign of the Christ of peace, you know, when... When my hand was up, and then uh, just the time of JSUS, when my hands were up, you know, like uh, I said in my other record, I have this sign of uh, what you call JSUS, a symbol of the blissful days, you know. Um, I have that sign to uh, to shield the place where I am because this is really, really a poor place where I am right now, you know, and uh to get me the connections of heavens, earth, and under earth, you know? And so that whoever touches me without saying a thing, or those who accepted me without saying a thing, will receive my papa. You know, which is my father will depart if uh, they are uh, like uh, the stones, the large stones against the door of the tomb, tomb that departed, you know? Like, uh, I come out, and then this man come out from his house and says, where it's come from? You know, like, he think of me, I'm naughty, you know? And I come back at him, and I bark back at him, and I said, you disrespectful, I am the Holy Spirit of God. And I said to him, you will die with your sin. I said that to the man, because, you know, he was like, uh, he could not look at me, and then I was displaying on his phone, but what he kept talking that I was nothing, you know, where I came from, and I said, and uh, many children are keep following me, and I hated that, you know, I hated that, but I can't be bothered anyway, it's just Michael was so furious and angry, and uh, I said, Ah, I want to finish them all now, you know? You must. That how, that's how our angel is so angry today. Why? Because this is my day. Friday 7th. You know, the day of the... When uh, the body laid down into the tomb. Same time, 5.55. You know, 5.55. 5.55. Why 5.55? 
There's a symbol of 555, five, five, humans. The goddesses, 555. Five, five. The 10. Narva, um, uh, Narvati. And all that. The 10 goddesses. That throughout incarnations what you worship. Athena. 555 five, five, humans means almighty. You know, it was I whom you crucified on the cross for the king to receive the body of the Christ, which is, you know, which is, when he come back to it, when he wake up to it, he said to me, don't touch me. Why he said to me? Because I have guided Magdalene. Without my eyes in her, she won't see my Christ. Because he was so glorious. He said to me, Han, don't touch me. Why? After when he woke up, spiritually he hugged me. Spiritually he hugged me. And physically, he said to Doreen, or whom you called Magdalene, he said that don't touch me, meaning to say, don't uh, touch my skins, don't, uh, because it wasn't him anymore. Meaning to say, when the body of the Christ get up, humans, it was Chapnel Elohim, not I, you know? For he and I is one, a symbol of the yin yang, you know? He was glorified by me, to be glorified with the him. You know, so uh, when I said, or Chapnel Elohim said to, uh, because you know, when I speak, I am with them. So literally, you will, you won't understand because if I don't tell you who's speaking, you won't know. You will think it's just me. I said, I don't speak alone. So meaning to say humans, when I said that, uh, don't touch me, it means that it was Elohim when he woke up in that body of Christ. It was Elohim because it was 3 a.m. The world was still clean and no one still touching into the ground except me and him. Why? Everybody was laying in bed. You know, when everybody is laying in bed at those times, it means humans that the wind is so clean. The wind is so dirty. You know, when the... Humans are running around, around me. When humans are touching their feet on the ground. You know, why? You make noises. With the, it, it's an example of your cars. When your cars are not running in the, in the, when your cars are not running in the, in the ground. There's no dust anywhere. It is keeps clean. But when there is people making, you know, the, the wind is so dirty. Why? It's like the ball. They're not supposed to do that now. Um, uh, the best, um, uh, the ball, you know, the ball, you cannot do that because it is symbol of the Christ head. You are bouncing in the floor. And it is really, really hurt to the eyes of gods. You know? It's being disrespectful. You know? It's being disrespectful. And also, humans, I'm, I'm not, I'm talking about only those uh, females that are, you, the mortal, not in my cups. You know? That, uh, you're allowed to play now music, which is Friday. Why? He's dead already. Enjoy so that he won't feel, he won't feel bad, you know? The only time that you're not allowed to really, really, not allowed to make any noises is Thursday and Wednesday and Tuesday. Why? It's the time when they are starting the, the, what you call this? Like, um, the, how are they going to kill the Christ? You know, it was the time, that is why now, since this morning, 10 a.m., 
5 a.m. and where I am, I've carried a cross into Calvary. And around 5.55, the body was dead. Dead and came back to life at 3 a.m. on Sunday morning, which is the symbol of the ante. Ante, why ante? That humans will become anti-Christ. No one believed that Jesus is alive. They think it was all for, um, for place. Humans is alive. He's alive. He can't choose to be seen. Because this morning, he just touched my back to tell me, hand go down, they're there. To pull the others, which is I've crossed their forehead. For me to have, if those time of Jesus, I cleanse the apostles' feet in this end, I am crossing the forehead for me to connect to each and every one that they'll touch. Wherever they go, it's like they are my CCTV walking. Walking CCTV, you know? So you must try to imitate the day of the Christ. As in the world, Without your blood, without minerals, or without throughout incarnations, becomes from one to another, cat, dog, birds, whatever, without eating blood, there's no life in any man. That is the very, very Foul thoughts or teachings of the Antichrist, they call themselves INC or Iglesia Ni Cristo. That why are you eating blood? You have blood, and why are you eating blood? And then I said to the man, Then there is the false teachings. Why? Because the blood is holy, the blood is Christ, the blood is those I have died for. It doesn't mean of fleshly it means of spiritually souls to be bandaged to everyone throughout incarnations until to this very end for there's a symbol of it when i washes their feet 